Hello everyone! Welcome to a mailbox goodies slash first impressions thing that we will be doing today. I am your sort of host, uh, conspirator, enabler, thingy, Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. We are going to be playing with a pen today. Now, if you are wondering, if you have not seen the vlog updates, Things have changed. I'm in a different room. I understood and I realized that the other room was too large and echoey and so now I am here. So for those of you who say I don't do anything for you, you are wrong. I do things for you. Enough of that. <clears throat> uh, what we have today is a fountain pen and this pen was sent for a review by Wancher, and this is several months later, several months down the line. Um, this is from the final production of the Kickstarter Wancher Dream Pen, and the version I have here is something I will show you in just a second. But first, let's quickly go over the presentation. So thank you to Wancher for sending this. Um, I I think it's a pretty neat pen. So. Let me just make sure I have the web page open because there's a whole bunch of options that are available. So anyway, let's start with the packaging. It comes in a softwood box. It's very Nakaya-esque, larger. It has the Wancher logo, and I don't know what, what this stands for, but maybe someone out there knows. I, I appreciate that the box is, it's attractive. Um, it's very light. It's not a super heavy box, but wooden boxes always freak me out because I'm always afraid of slivers. Like, I do not like slivers. And I have, this is really lame, I have super soft skin on my hands and so I get slivers and punctures very easily. So, for people like me, you gotta be careful. Now, inside the box, I'm gonna lift the lid off on the table. Did you hear that? Okay. Inside the box, you get some items. Now, first you get a Wancher Guarantee Certificate. You get a little card, it's like a business card, but it has a hashtag for Wancher to go. So if you're on um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest, you can use the Wancher to go hashtag to share with others. We have a tiny bookmark with a QR code on the back, and it is an instruction manual in English and Japanese, which is really cool. I like that it's online because I think the majority of people don't necessarily need a paper copy, so it's just a little bit less paper to be included in your packaging. And there are two postcards. Now, they're both the same postcard, but what I'm going to show you is the first side, which is the postcard for the Number one funded pen in, I think the Kickstarter funded pen in Japan, Japanese fountain pen. And there's a QR code on the bottom again. Now the back side, I'm not so crazy about because from what I understand, there is a glass nib pen being developed by Wancher. It is called the Shizuku pen. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's this pen or this color, it's called Urara or U Urara. I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, but for her. Now, I know gender marketing is not so cool anymore, and I'm a woman, and I have very large masculine pens. I also have very small girly pens. I have large girly pens. I have small masculine pens. So I don't really see the need to call any item like a pen for her. So I don't know about that one. But anyway. That's just my opinion. Now, if we look at the base of the box, it's just like a felt base. I do not need a removable bed. It has two elastics in it. Now, in the elastics, there was this, which is, oops, this, which is an adorable little envelope with, let me see how many. There were three standard international cartridges in there. And the pen came in a little sleeve, which is, very cute. It's a cloth sleeve. It has a little button on it, like to hold it shut. Very simple. The pen goes inside. That's all there is to it. I like the simplicity. Now, the pen itself that I have, let me just put the stuff out of the way so that I don't like destroy anything. I have the True 
ebonite version. So this is just ebonite. It is polished, shiny, <sighs> smells ebonite-y, especially if you knuckle it. Mmm, that's delicious. It's a very simple pen, a very simple design. It appeals to me. I really like the cigar shape design. Um, I like the proportions of the pen. It is large, but not like humongous. And the cap is slightly spring-loaded, so you gotta be careful. It's not gonna fly across the room, but you should be careful. So wait, let me just see if I can show you. You could, well, there you go. You can, it's already got a couple fingerprints on it for me fondling it, but um, it is shiny. So comfortable section shape for me. I like it. I have a 14 karat two-tone nib in broad. I think the nib is actually really cute with the little Lancer logo on there. I don't know, there we go. Very nice. Now, the thing is, you can customize the pen. The base model starts at 200 US. You can add a, um, this one has, the base model has a plastic feed. You can add an ebonite feed for 30 extra dollars. I have a plastic feed. The nib material, you can get, um, three different options, stainless steel, 14 karat gold in gold, rhodium, and two-tone, or 18 karat gold in gold, rhodium, and two-tone. The 14 karat gold is an extra 130 US, and the 18 karat gold is an extra 140 US. You can also add a roll stopper to the cap, you can add a pen pillow, a an extra converter, an extra cartridge, etc. So as it is customized to this current state that I have, it is 330 US dollars. Now, for someone who has definitely spent much more than that on a single fountain pen, in my opinion, uh, 330 is not an obscene price, but you can also get an ebonite pen with a number six nib. Uh, I can't think of any examples off the top of my head because I don't have one, but if you're just thinking, well, I do have an example. For example, there is the Noodler's Nippon Set, which is an ebonite pen. Personally, I think this one is more attractive, but the Nippon Set has a number six nib. You could purchase a number six nib separately and put it onto the Nippon Set, and you're looking at probably $200. So you can also just get a standard ebonite pen um, there are like the ASA pens uh, um, from India. They're not going to be as expensive as this is. So even without the gold nib upgrade at $200, you, there are equivalent options out there. They're not going to cost you as much. I think the, for me, the shape, the appearance, the, um, the finishing of the pen is really nice. So I don't know. It depends what you want. Like I like the gold nib a lot. So for me, the upgrade is worth it. I unfortunately don't have a pen to just compare it to. So what I'm telling you is there's a bit of a premium on it, but it depends, like it's up to you if it's worth it. So anyway, enough of that chit chat. You want to see how this pen writes because it's actually really nice and I really enjoy the writing experience. So yap yap no more. Let's move the camera down and see how it goes. See you in a second. Okie dokie, we are gonna go ahead with some writing and stuff. So here we have that Wancher Dream Pen in true ebonite. So it's just ebonite, black ebonite, very classy, very simple. You have to like this kind of thing. You can see the beautiful two-tone nib. Why? What, what do I mean by you have to like this kind of thing? I mean, you have to like the simplicity of such a pen. It's a large, beautiful pen, large-ish, beautiful pen, large to me, um, but super comfortable because it's very light in hand and I find it very pleasant. So let's do a bit of writing. Shall I zoom in so you can see my writing? Yes. Yes, I shall. Okay, so here we are. We have the, wait, I'm gonna zoom out because it's overexposing, sorry. The, oh, that is some seriously bad handwriting. Should I try that again? Yeah. I mean, this is not much better. This is not the writing angle I usually write at, but if I don't do this, you won't be able to see what I'm writing. So this is the Wancher Dream Pen. 
fairly wet. Now this paper is super smooth, so um, it's going to dry a little longer, take a little longer, but what I wanted to do, let me show you the nib too. As I said, it's a 14 karat two-tone German nib. 14 karat broad. It is a smooth, wet, slightly springy nib. Well adjusted, well tuned. The ink is actually from a friend. Thank you, Candice. This is Colorverse Photon. Reminds me a lot of Diamine Soft Mint. I don't know if you even saw me writing that, but it's a beautiful color. Shades very nicely. So there you go. Not a whole lot of writing necessary. Just wanted to show you. Now, this Colorverse ink is a bit on the dry side. And I do, fi I don't know what I did there. I, I just got fibers all over this nib. Okay, we're gonna continue because I smeared ink all over the place by accident. Um, okay, let's see. We're gonna do a, hello. So that's basically it though. I mean, it's, it's a very pleasant nib. I enjoy it. It's a bit sensitive on very smooth paper, which this is, but I think it's, a nice writer. I think the pen is really nice. Like it's it's simple, but it's it's classy. Um, only you could decide if it's worth it, worth the price. But I really enjoy the writing experience, and I enjoy the shape of this pen quite a bit. So thank you to Wancher for sending this over for a review. Uh, that wraps everything up. So. Thank you for watching. If you have not already and would like to be subscribed, please do click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up because I would appreciate it. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. That is G Gourmet Pens. Sorry, that was really weird. Anyway, I am Gourmet Pens. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.